Um, I went to a friend's office, um, and she she's um, the marketing. Well, she handles the mm, cultural marketing for Red Bull France. Yeah. France. Okay, whatever. And then I get to her office and I see a guy, and I was like. Quite, you know, quite style aware, seemed quite style aware, but I was like, this guy must be Swiss. I could, I don't know, it was, you know, there's not a typical feature for Swiss people, so, but there was something in his style, I could tell he was Swiss. And I asked him, and he was. And I could even have said he's probably from Zurich, and he was. That what was, were those characteristics, though? That it, and it's funny because then I was, I tried to ana analyze why. He, he was wearing these, um, seriously, I don't know, if, I'm not sure if I can tell why, I haven't really been able to, because he was wearing some uh, pretty non-Swiss designers, like some uh, Rick Owens shoes, and, but he had that, that style, like this very uh, près du corps, you know, like very, very, kind of pragmatic, like stylish, or, you know, well um, selected, um, Clothes, but very pragmatic as well. Like something you could you could tell he was worrying about being warm, you know, not being cold. Uh, he had something with a wool kind of cardigan or something, and then um, some jeans, tight but not too tight, very fitted. Uh, these shoes were very well laced, you know, nothing loose. Um, and, you know, also in his gait, just in the way he was, you know, in his port, he, you could tell he was like, it was not elegant, and it was not, it was not um, ru uh, rural, or it was, I mean, it, not it a was, country boy. No, not country either, it was pragmatic, you could tell he was probably the person who, you know, like, checks the forecast, the weather forecast, because before he leaves his house in the morning, which is something I never do. Uh, and I thought it was just fascinating that I could tell, like, from like, 10 meters away that this guy probably was Swiss, and he was. <laughs> so, that made me think there's certainly something to the Swiss style, but then, and Swiss people have money, they don't have uh, a real education for, there's not this, there isn't a culture for fashion in Switzerland, there's no, there's, there isn't really um, bourgeois, yeah, bourgeoisie there is, but isn't, there's no aristocracy, like all the, the social castes that created the, the uh, rules and the, the codes for fashion traditionally, they don't exist in Switzerland, the only aristocracy is, is um, uh, religious, so so it's a whole different thing. It's a, it's much more intellectual based. It's a, and it's Protestant as well. So obviously, and um, I'm thinking, I'm wondering, uh, but I'm thinking there must be a, a strong link with Belgium fashion uh, for that reason as well. And uh, I'm wondering, we'll see how it works with the magazine, but there could be something to do uh, between these, especially maybe not, uh, maybe more than Parisian fashion. Yeah, we'll see.